Good afternoon everyone, it's Edward with Crypto University and in this video we're going to be talking about the smart sell feature on 3 commas trading terminal. So when you click on the smart sell terminal you'll get to see all these goodies here. Same thing as in some of our other videos, you can choose your exchange that you want to trade on here. You can choose what market or coin you want to trade in. So whatever you select on smart sell, you'll be selling into. So if you choose BTC here, you'll be selling into Bitcoin. And if you choose, for example, USDT, you'll be selling into USDT, right? So for the trading pair, I'm gonna select BTC because I'm holding a couple, not a couple, I wish. I'm holding a few Satoshi. Basically, you'll have the amount of coins available for trade right here. You can select 10% of available amount or however much you want. So then you would have to put the price that you paid for these coins as well. This is where it can get a little bit tricky. If you don't know the price that you paid for the coins, you probably shouldn't try to use this feature. So if you know you bought your Satoshi at $35,000 and you bought and you bought 0.01 BTC at $35,000, then you spent 350 USDT on it. So you would say your take profit goal, you're obviously well over 10% from $35,000. So let's say now if you bought 0.1 BTC at $35,000 and you wanted to sell it at $75,000, type that value in right there. It'll tell you how much percent you're going to make. You can press if you want it as a market or limit order. You can enable trailing take profit, which basically covers the price of the of the uh, asset as it goes up in value. So let's say you enable a 1% trailing take profit. The price does this, comes up, and is profitable toward your take profit goal and continues to go up. Trailing take profit will enable and continue to follow the price until it bounces back down to the amount that you have specified here. So whenever price stops its upward movement after the take profit goal and begins to reverse direction, you would have secured an additional 14% on top of what you already mapped. I tend to use small trailing take profits or sometimes don't even use them at all. If you're shooting for 114%, there's no reason to be greedy. That's a lot of profit. And you'll set your stop loss here. So if you paid for Bitcoin at $35,000, I mean, if you wanted to set a stop loss, I, I would set one for profits. So I would say I want to sell mine for $40,000. That way, if price falls back to forty k, I still walk away with plus 14%. Um, so turn that stop loss on there. And then if you felt comfortable with this, you come back and look at your chart and you can see let me go ahead and delete this so you can see and if you're comfortable with all those settings then you can go ahead and create your trade you'll have one last option to confirm and go ahead and confirm if you like everything you see now again you you can't really use the smart sell feature if you don't know how much you paid for your coins so it's easier to use the smart trade terminal uh, unless you kind of had some manual situations going up and you only want to sell X amount of your coins for whatever reason. There's a lot of ways this can be used, but the main thing to take away from this is if you don't know how much you paid for your coin, none of this stuff is going to be accurate over here. So I hope you learned something from this video. Get ready for the next one. We're going to be talking about smart cover.